Hello everybody. I thought it would be better to give you an uh, overview of the ship before actually taking you to the various locations on board. I'm at the A deck and this is the general arrangement plan. Over here is the forward part of the ship, bulbous bow and the side view. Our ship is 295 meters long, 46 meters wide and 25 meters deep. The type of the ship is cape size bulk carrier and we have a total of 9 cargo holds from forward to aft. The aftmost part is the accommodation and engine room and some other stores. This is the accommodation where we have all the cabins, offices, stores etc. and down below is the engine room. On the top is the compass deck and various other decks. This over here is the propeller and rudder of the ship. So I'm going to start from the top that is compass deck aka Monkey Island. This is ship's main mast. A view from the compass deck. This is how it looks like. We have uh, various antennas of radio and navigational equipments on the compass deck. These are the two radar scanners and our funnel over there. Port side bridge wing. They are called bridge wing as they are extended outwards from the navigation deck. Over here is the starboard side bridge wing. Our antenna for MFHF, that is the radio equipment. Our satellite antenna for internet. The magnetic compass. Wheelhouse, aka bridge. We have all the navigation and various other control panels over here. Our electronic chart display system, radar, ship's steering wheel, engine movement controller and various other control panels. You can say the bridge is the brain of the ship as it is the centralized control station. Our coffee shop computer for paperwork chart table this is the radio room where we have radio equipments such as MFHF sat C ships main server that connects all the computer on board via LAN CCTV display monitor This is the deck plan for D deck We have identical deck plans uh, inside accommodation for every deck which displays the location of various cabins and other facilities in the respective decks We can use stairs and elevator for going from one deck to the other. Cabin plan gives an overview to locate the cabin or store at the respective deck. Let's go in the elevator. I'll take you to my cabin at sea deck and show you what a normal sized cabin on board looks like. This is a normal sized cabin on board. I have a couch a coffee table, some drawers for storage space, a fridge, a TV, 
computer table and a chair a medium sized bed closet storage space for life jacket and immersion suit my cabin is the front facing cabin this is what it looks like from my cabin's porthole washroom and shower space i'll show you now the ship's hospital as the medical officer on board it is my responsibility for maintaining the hospital we have uh, various medicines stored in the shelves as per the inventory two beds and few other medical equipments officers laundry for clean clothes and bodice suits crew laundry our smoke room for recreational activities like movies or some small gatherings this space is also for our karaoke nights ship's office officers mess room pantry space our galley and that's our chief cook On board ship we store our provision in refrigerated compartments namely vegetable room meat room fish room there is a separate refrigeration system which regulates the ambient temperature for storing the various kind of food items so that during our voyage our provision doesn't get spoiled crew mess room our gymnasium changing locker let's take you outside on the main deck let's put on the safety gears forward mooring station where we have our mooring winches and anchors This is ship's gangway which is used as a boarding access when the ship is at port.
the direction of launching of Lifeboat. But certainly the launch is not like this. Lifeboat deck. Yellow circles marked are the order in which ship's crew will board lifeboat in case of abandoning. Rescue boat for rescue and recovery purpose. Life rafts. We have total of four identical life rafts on either side of the ship. Firefighting station where we have our firefighting equipments. Emergency generator. This will come on load and supply power if in case ship's main generator fails. This is the engine control room. All the machineries and equipments, including main engine of the ship, are remotely operated from the engine control room. Providing propulsion and power to the whole ship. There are computers to monitor health and operational condition of machineries. Ships generators. We have three generators on board. They supply power to the whole ship. Fresh water generator that converts seawater into fresh water. Engine room workshop for carrying out all the maintenance and repair jobs. This is the designated place for welding and other hot work. Steering gear that operates the rudder of the ship. All machineries in engine room are operated from here. That makes the engine control room the heart of the ship. That is all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If so, please hit like, leave comments, subscribe, share with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next vlog. Till then, be happy and take good care of yourself. Namaste.